Good evening, everyone. I'd like to welcome you to the first council meeting of 2020. Um, uh, thank you all for coming tonight, and we will uh, get the ball rolling here. Call to order, Miss Burner. When you're ready, please. You just did that, and now we need the invocation. I'll call roll after we. Yeah, it's a different call order. Yeah, I'm sorry. Different agenda tonight. I'm sorry. <laughs> thank you. <laughs> thank you. Are you sick? So, all right. Tonight's invocation is by Councilman Cook. Maybe, maybe you're going to do it. You need to rise and bow your heads. Our Heavenly Father, please bless this group tonight as we come forth to do the business that this city requires. Please bless our administration, those of us that are assembled here, our first responders, our firefighters, our medics, and the deputies. And please give us the good grace that we can do the job that we have been assigned to do. Amen. The pledge of allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Come on, get on. Get on. All right. And now, Ms. Burner, is your time to do the oath of office for the newly elected council members this evening. So what we've done in the past, um, I guess since there's four of us, we can, um, the new ones, if you guys would like to come forward up this direction, we'll just do it up here in front of the audience so everybody can get to know your faces. Joining you? Sure, we'll do it right here. Yeah. Yeah, I thought we'd run that fast. I will probably just go in order on the agenda. That's so yeah, that's fine. Hard. Yes, that's Do I need to get. I don't, I don't know how to win. No, I'll just come like, to you. Uh, Is that all right? Can, do one more time? Um, can I do them all at the same time? We've done that. Then that's fine. Yeah. Too. Yeah. Are you all all right with that? Yeah. Okay. All right. So I want you to raise your right hand. You're going to repeat after me. I state your name. I am we'll, we'll, we'll do each no. individual name. No. <laughs> we'll I Amy Hopkins. I Dale Grimm. I Linda Eggleston Nowakowski. I Mike Byron. Do hereby solemnly swear. Do hereby solemnly swear. That I shall support the Constitution. Of, of the state of Ohio, of the state of Ohio. And, that and that I shall faithfully, honestly, honestly and impartially discharge, and impartially discharge the, duties the duties of member of council for the city of New Carlisle, Ohio, for the term ending 1231-24, to which I have been elected. Was this sitting here? Mm -hmm. And then I'll have you all sign. Anybody starts on anything I can get out. Well, I will run right behind you. <laughs> All right, so oh, congratu congratulations to the newly elected council members, uh, Mr. Graham and Tagleston. Congratulations. Thank you for your interest in the city. And um, with that, we'll move on to the roll call, which is what I was trying to say earlier. Nobody. Mayor level buddies. Here. Councilwoman Hopkins. Here. 
Councilman Grimm. Here. Councilwoman Noah Kowski. Yes? <laughs> Here. Councilman Cobb. Here. Councilman Cook. Here. Councilwoman Eggleston. Here. Seven members present. Thank you very much. All right, and we will drop down to the election of the vice mayor and mayor. Um, Mr. Mayor. Mr. Cobb. I'd like to nominate Mike Lowry for mayor. Second. Okay. Ms. Hopkins. Okay. Council, any other discussion or motions? Make a motion and nominations be closed. Second. Okay. Nominate for what? To close the nominations. Oh, what about for vice mayor? We'll do that next. next. Voting on closing the nominations? Correct. Okay. And the second was for Mr. Cobb? Yeah. No. So, Councilman Cook? Yes. He for, was the first, I was the second. For the, um, that's for the nomination for the board. closing. Oh. That was for the, this is for the close. I'll catch up. Okay. Thank you. You're good. You're all right. <laughs> um, Councilman Cook? Yes. Yes. Councilwoman Eggleston? Yes. Mayor Lowry? Uh, abstain. Councilwoman Hopkins? Yes. Councilman Grimm? Yes. Councilwoman Nowakowski? <laughs> yes. Okay. She'll get it eventually. And Councilman Cobb? Yes. <coughs> okay. Okay. And then. Six zero one. So now we're going to vote on Mr. Lowry as mayor. Uh huh? Mr. Vote Correct. on Mr. Lowry as mayor. And my second was from Ms. Hopkins, so. Yes. Councilman Grimm. Yes. Councilwoman Nowakowski. Councilman Cobb. Yes. Councilman Cook. Yes. Councilwoman Eggleston. Yes. Councilman yeah. Lowry. Abstain. And Councilwoman Hopkins. Yes. All right, so that is six, zero, one. Congratulations. Thank you very much. And then moving forward to the uh, nominations for a vice mayor. Council. Second. Okay, I have Mr. Cook from the sixth. Right. Okay. And who was the second? Right? Dale. Dale. Mr. Mr. Brim. Brim. Okay. Okay. And Ms. Hopkins. I want to make a motion to nominate myself for vice mayor. Okay. Any other nominations? Okay. No second. No. Do I have a second for? No second. No. No. Any other nominations or to close nominations? Mm -hmm. Move to Make a motion to close the nomination. Okay. Mm -hmm. Second. Second by Mr. Grimm. Second, Mr. Grimm. All right, voting to close nominations. Correct. Councilwoman Nowakowski? Yes. Councilman Cobb? Yes. Councilman Cook? Yes. Councilwoman Eggleston? Mayor Lowry? Yes. Councilwoman Hopkins? Yes. Councilman Grimm? Yes. That's the motion accepted 7 0. Voting on um, Mr. Cook or Vice Mayor? Correct. My second was Mr. Grimm, so we'll start with Ms. Nokowski. Councilman Nokowski? Yes. Councilwoman Nokowski? Councilman Cobb? Yes. Councilman Cook? Abstain. Councilwoman Eggleston? Yes. Mayor Lowry? Yes. Councilwoman Hopkins? No. Councilman Gray? Yes. Mm 
Motion accepted. Five, one, one. All righty. Thank you very much, Ms. Burner. All right, Council, and moving on to appointment. Now we have to do the appointment uh, of clerk of acting of appointment of clerk and acting of council. I've got one thing. Is there something else you needed before we moved on to clerk? Oh, they're going to make a motion to approve that. Both right. Of us. Yeah. Okay. So, <clears throat> so a, a motion will be needed to uh, appoint again Emily Burner as clerk of council and Randy Bridges acting clerk of council. In the past, sometimes we've had Mr. Kitko do it, but if we're right now, as Randy's explained in the past, since he's already here, it may as well be him and just simplify things and doesn't have to make how we work an extra day or something when he could do it himself. So. Second. Here, then Ms. Hopkins was second. Okay. Okay. Any discussion before a vote? All right, when you're ready, please. Councilman Grimm? Yes. Councilman Malikowski? Yes. Councilman Cobb? Yes. Councilman Cook? Vice Mayor? Yes. yes. Councilwoman Eggleston? Yes. Mayor Lowry? Yes. Councilwoman Hopkins? Yes. Motion accepted 7-0. Thank you very much. All right, drop down to number eight. We'll need to do actions, action on uh, minutes for two work sessions, a regular meeting and a special meeting. So we'll start off with work session on December 2nd of 19. Make a motion to accept the minutes. Can we go ahead and do the oath for mayor and vice mayor? Yeah. Yes. Okay. I'm going to do that. Get it. Yeah. Bring that over here. Let's see the text side. Oh, your iPad. This is a 9.3 inch. So what's an oath? Mm-hmm. Mr. Mayor, Mr. the mayor and vice mayor are elected for a term of two years. Would that not make their term ending December 31st, 2021? Yeah, that's what she said. She said 22. 22. I said 21. You said, I wrote 22 on the paper. Okay. <laughs> I'll reprint it and we'll make a, a correct one. Your name. Thank you, Mr. Grimm. Oh. 
Are you ready now, Ms. Berner, or do you need a minute? No, I'm okay. So do you have the original um, motion and second for the work session? Or do you need it? No. I did not hear that. Okay. Comment Eggleston. Comment Eggleston. For the work session on 12 2? Yeah. Correct. Okay. And we can vote on it now? Yes. Any council, any discussion on it before we vote for the meeting minutes? Nope. And you're ready. Okay. Um, this is for 12 2 19. Okay. Vice Mayor Cook? Yes. Mayor Lowry? Yes. Councilwoman Hopkins? Yes. Councilman Grimm? I was not on council at the time, but I was at the meeting, so I'm assuming I can vote yes. Mm -hmm. I, I would abstain. 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 Okay. Councilman Cobb? Yes. Like, I need one more here, but you guys switch seats on me. That's why. Yeah. <laughs> okay, hold on just a second here. So we have. No, we got these two separated. Yeah. Okay, so it is five zero two. Say it while the rose between the thorns. Those minutes were accepted. Five zero two. Thank you. Okay, moving on to work session for December sixteenth, two thousand nineteen. Make a motion to accept the work session. Is that Cobb and Eagleston? Cobb and Eagleston, yes. Okay. Any discussion, Council, before we vote? When you're ready. Okay. Councilman Cook? Yes. Or Vice Mayor. I'll get this eventually. Mayor Lowry? Yes. Councilwoman Hopkins? Yes. Councilman Grimm? Abstain. Councilwoman Nowakowski? <laughs> <laughs> Abstain. I feel like. Ooh. Councilman Cobb? Yes. Councilwoman Eggleston? Yes. Okay, those minutes are accepted. Thank you. And moving on right. to minutes for the regular scheduled council meeting, December 16th of 2019. So Second. All right, the first is Eggleston. Council, any discussion on this? Okay, for the vote, when you're ready. Ready. Councilwoman Eggleston? Yes. Vice Mayor Cook? Yes. Mayor Lowry? Yes. Councilwoman Hopkins? Yes. Councilman Grimm? Abstain. Councilwoman Nowakowski? Abstain. Councilman Cook? Yes. Minutes accepted. Five, zero, two. Last one. And last one for the special meeting on December 30th, 2019. Councilman, so make a second. <laughs> I have a first from Eggleston and a second from Cobb. Any discussion? Mr. Mayor. Mr. Under Mayor Lowry begins his opening and closing statements. It says paid in full by February 2018. Mm -hmm. I thought you had said February 2019. I read it. I didn't catch it. About two thirds of the way down. <laughs> yeah, you're right. 19. So that yeah. correction of 2019, Miss Burner. That I move we amend the minutes to reflect that change. On. On. Pay, uh, let's see here. The special meeting about okay. about three quarters of the way down. The date uh, February 2018 should be. Should say 2019. 19. Okay. And I have a motion to fix those. Correct. Yep. Yeah, you. I did. Okay. Second. All right. So I have a motion from Mr. Grimm to fix the date on those minutes with a second from Cobb. Councilwoman Eggleston? Yes. Vice Mayor Cook? Yes. Mayor Lowry? Yes. Councilwoman Hopkins? Yes. Councilman Grimm? Yes, sir, the state. So that made the motion. You, yeah, you, you got it, so yes. Yeah. yeah. <clears throat> 
Councilwoman Nowakowski? Yes. Councilman Cobb? Yes. All right, that motion is accepted 7 0. Okay. Um, back to the original. Accepting the money. Did we, was I calling the roll for the vote? No. For those votes no. yet? No, no just, for, just, just for the amend. Okay. So now I need to do the vote for the. So my first was Eggleston, the second is Cobb. Okay. Yep, all right, so Councilwoman Eggleston. Vice Mayor Cook? Yes. Mayor Lowry? Yes. Councilwoman Hopkins? Yes. Councilman Grimm? Abstain. Councilwoman Nowakowski? Abstain. Councilman Cobb? Yes. Minutes accepted, five, zero, two. All right, thank you very much. Get it, have a drink of water. No kidding. <laughs> <laughs> Hydrate yourself That's the well. That's I have to do ever, I think. All right, thank you very much. Moving on to communications, none tonight. City Manager's Report, Mr. Bridge. Good evening, sir. Thank you, Mr. Mayor, uh, members of council, members of public. Great to see everyone. Uh, great to have a full house on the first meeting. Hopefully, uh, they're filled like this throughout the rest of the year. Lots of good information regarding the community right here. Uh, this is the first meeting of the year, so our, our administrative staff is not present except for our fire chief here, and we have uh, Deputy Major Cack here from the Sheriff's Office, so thank you guys for coming as well. A uh, new building update, we did have the asbestos completed over break. That was $30,000, I mean, not $30,000, I was thinking of the school. I think it's about maybe two or $3,000 for the asbestos, don't quote me on that. This is at our new building downtown. So all that asbestos has been removed. Uh, right now we are in a process where the architect is in a process of, is of securing a quote for bidding processes. We have not put it out to bid yet. Uh, we've uh, delayed putting it out to bid um, for about two months now and I've kept council up to breast about this. But the tornadoes we had come through back Memorial Day really shot up the prices of goods and also shot up the prices of uh, man hours as well. So all that's starting to line back where it should be. Uh, so once we get done securing the quotes from, uh, I think he's using Winco for that, then it will go out to bid. But the uh, bestest again has been abated out. Um, 2020 operating budget, uh, adoption on 3920 or 32320. Of course, we'll be aiming for that first meeting in March, which is the 9th. Uh, we'll, we should have work sessions actually beginning at the late, uh, at the very end of this month, uh, very early February. Our finance director needs to close out uh, 2019 so she can build that 2020 budget. Once that's in my hands, I'll review it and then pass it on the council. And that's when we start uh, the budget work sessions for uh, 2020. We did pass temporary appropriations. I do believe at the last meeting to get us through for these next few months until we pass that uh, official operating budget. Uh, Christmas party, it was a fantastic event. I wanted to thank everyone who showed up, council members showed up, we had some uh, uh, part-time staff showed up. It was probably one of the better ones that we've had in quite some time. Um, we had great food, we had great prizes, we had great involvement, everyone was in a good mood. So thank you everyone for showing up. Um, it was a, a, a fantastic time. Uh, 2020 City Council, I have uh, devised a like, little cheat sheet for you guys. That's a little uh, important information. So on that, we have the meeting dates for this year. We have your pay dates, we have important numbers, uh, and then uh, the observed holiday. So any observed holiday that does fall on a Monday, uh, we will not have council meeting. It'll be on that following Tuesday. I do believe this year it's only maybe one, two, three times. Uh, one coming up in January, one in February, and then the next one's not until September. So definitely, Council, this was made for you to kind of just put on your fridge if you need to. Uh, so hopefully you get some use out of it. And uh, I do believe that's all I have for my city manager report. Thank you very much, sir. As always, Council, any questions for Mr. Bridge? All right, moving on to comments from members of the public. Anybody has any questions or comments, please go to the podium, give us your name and address for public record reasons. All right. Oh. Hi, I'm Law McLaughlin, 327 South Main Street. Uh, I just wanted to congratulate the new council and thank you all for stepping forward and being here again. Hopefully you all work together and do what's the best situations for New Carlisle. Uh, that's what we're trying to do in the county, with the county the cities, the townships, everyone. That's one thing that we all need to keep in mind, that we're all working for the same people. We're working for the public. The public is who pays everybody's salaries and 
every, you know, every type of thing that we're trying to do. So please, let's all work together. Let's make this a better place to live for all of us. I live in this community. I love Nukalau, and I try and help towards this area as much as I can. So I wanted to thank you all for stepping forward, and please work together, make this a better place for all of us. Thank you. Thank you, sir. Anyone else before we move forward? All right, thank you. And let's see, we'll go down to community reports, none tonight, resolutions. Uh, resolutions. Ms. Uh, we have one just intro this evening. Ordinance 20 01 R. Introduction tonight, public hearing and action on 12120. A resolution adopting rules of council. Make a motion. It's a one read only. Tonight. Oh, read only. No, you got it. They got it down here as action. Mm -hmm. No, that's the ordinance. That's, that's the, the ordinance, one. sir. Action on January yeah, 20th. Never mind. And then drop down to ordinances when you're ready, ma'am. All right. <clears throat> Tonight, ordinance we have one. Ordinance 19 53, introduced on 12 16 19, public hearing and action tonight. And ordinance authorizing the city manager to enter into an agreement for professional accounting and consulting services. Council? <coughs> Vice Mayor Second. and Eggleston. Correct. Cobb Cook. I'm yep. Cobb Eggleston. I'm Cook Eggleston. Eggleston. Yep. We just switch names and go over with. <laughs> How about just numbers? <laughs> Council, any discussion? <laughs> or Mr. Bridge, I'm sorry, do you want to go through this real quick? Yeah, an explanation of this ordinance. I briefly explained it in our work session. Every year we have to get audited by the state of Ohio. Uh, that is something that Ohio Revised Code uh, requires. Um, and basically what this does, this company comes in and they get our cash statements together in this nice presentable document that they can give to the auditors to do that. So basically it looks at all our cash transactions throughout the past year from our pool transactions through even the transaction we have at the city building when you come to pay your water bill in cash. So basically it's a company that just gets all that nice, uh, nice orderly uh, manner. He reconciles everything, and then we send it off to the auditor. Thank you, sir. Council, any questions or comments for Mr. Bridge? Mr. Mayor, this is the same company we've used in the past? Oh, we've been with, yeah, for quite some time. Okay. Yep. Thank you. Thank you, sir. Anyone else? And one more thing I did forget to mention. Um, we do have an option, which I will sign off on for the two-year agreement. Um, we use this company this year and next year, which we would have done anyway. They're actually giving us a $1,000 discount. Great. Yep. Awesome. Thank you. All right. When you're ready, Ms. Burner. All right. Abel Stenso, Vice Mayor Cook. Yes. Mayor Lowry. Yes. Councilwoman Hopkins. Yes. Councilman Griffin. Yes. Councilwoman Nowakowski. Yes. Councilman Cobb. Yes. Councilwoman Eggles. Yes. Motion accepted 7 0. Would you like me to read other business? Please. Um, city offices are closed on Monday, January 20th in honor of Martin Luther King Day. All right. And with that being said, before we adjourn, uh, again, thank you to and congratulations to the new council members. Uh, did you have anything to say or anything tonight? This is your first night? I'm looking forward to changes. Okay. I'm looking forward to working together. Sir, New Year. Would you like to say anything? Thank you for electing me. <laughs> Mr. Cobb, anything you'd like to add before we finish up the first meeting of the new year? I welcome the two new elected council members and the two old ones. <laughs> <laughs> he stresses old. Right. And, and I'm not in the old? I don't know. You That's a change him. we get to refer to as new, not old. <laughs> <laughs> Davidson, what do you think? I'm looking forward to a great 2020. And Mr. Cook. As Mrs. Engelson had mentioned earlier, you are all invited to cross the donuts Saturday morning about 9 o'clock here at the Shelter House. When we'll invite you to is the word is converged with the council and or our new members get to know them and find out what we've got planned for the opening year. We'll look forward to seeing you. 
Do you need to put a thing in the paper? I'll, I'll talk you to need you. To, yeah, you need to put a thing in the paper. Okay. I'll talk to you. I'm filled Okay. I'll and with that being said, I just wanted to thank everyone for coming tonight. And thank you to, uh, really, thank you to the citizens and the outgoing <laughs> council members and the current ones uh, for really, you know, the citizens are the ones that kind of set New Call Iowa up for probably a really good year next year with the police levy and the, uh, the fire and EMS levy that really helped us out a lot. Uh, Chief, the deputy can, you know, can talk about that all day long, I'm sure. Uh, so with the help of, like I said, the citizens mostly, uh, the outgoing council members that helped us, you know, help get the, the ball rolling on that, and then the council members that, that played a part in that as well up here, uh, big thanks to them. And hopefully for 2020 will be a great year because of everybody that was involved with that. So with that being said, um, who's all got the... Uh, can I say something here to the audience? Sure. Y'all might want to start locking your vehicles. We had a couple of gentlemen that were broke into. Mm -hmm. One was the fire chief. And both of them are on Henry. I think it was you, Mr. Kerrybacker. <laughs> and they're not walking down the street. They're actually using the vehicle. Mm -hmm. What's the sedan. They're pulling out, actually raping us, pull up into people's driveways. Mm -hmm. Be a good reason to start, to start. If you don't lock your front doors, Lock them. Thank you, sir. So. All right, with that being yes, said, thank you. thank you all very much. And motion to adjourn. Second.